nothing like getting comfy on your living room floor. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's it going? Hope you're doing really well. As usual with these videos, because we weren't organized enough to buy furniture in time for this move, <laughs> you join me on the floor of the living room where I spend the majority of my existence at the moment until our sofa finally arrives. Apparently it's like three weeks to go. I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, you've got to give me some kind of credit. I've tried to make this look as nice as possible. I mean, the cold hard reality of this is that I'm sitting on the floor in front of the fridge, but at least I've given it a go. And it is currently the most gray, miserable day outside. It looks so rotten out there. I'm sort of regretting my decision to leave the house today, <laughs> but it's all for a good cause because what better cause is there than going for a wander around a homeware shop. So if you're new around here, hi, my name's Lucy, how's it going? And my boyfriend Adam and I bought our first home together uh, back at the end of November. So we've been in, we've been living in here for about a month now. We're making, we'll say slow progress. We seem to be encountering a few hurdles along the way, but I feel like that's all part of the deal, isn't it? And we're just having a bit of a laugh really and taking it slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> that's always been my motto in life. So far we've had a bit of a go doing the bedroom, which is coming together really nicely. Um, but other than that, all the other rooms, I'm still lacking a little bit of inspo about what I'm trying to do here. It's all very well and good when you're browsing through Pinterest thinking like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, that's such a cool idea. But then when it comes to actually like trying to make that happen and apply it to your own place, <laughs> it turns out it's not that easy. So seeing as I feel like I've hit a bit of like writer's block, decorator's block, is that a thing? I feel like I need a bit of inspo. So I thought today, We'll head out and about. Consider this a field trip on my channel because I'm gonna take you out for a little wander around home sense today. And believe it or not, I've actually never been to a home sense. I've never lived close enough to one to be able to go to it. They seem to be in really random locations. And because I've always lived in very central London, there hasn't been one near me, but now that we've moved out a little bit, there's now one not too far away. So I spotted that on Google Maps the other day and I thought, That'll do nicely. So that is what we're gonna do today. I'm really excited, obviously, because I've never been before. I'm really intrigued to see what I can find. I do think though, a lot of the time when I see stuff from HomeSense, it tends to be along the lines of like the really popular Instagram type decor at the moment, where it's all kind of very like plush velvet, lots of silver, lots of sparkle, like the really popular stuff at the moment, which isn't really my cup of tea. So I'm really excited to see what other kind of stuff they have there. Maybe stuff that's not shown quite as often. The general vibe of this house we're hoping is gonna be sort of like, a little bit of colour, very cosy, very warm, a little bit of a 70s feel to it. I'm quite drawn to sort of mid-century design. Um, I like a little bit of vintage, a little bit of retro. I know for a fact I'd like to see if I can find a lampshade for the bedroom. I want to see whether they have any rugs. I really want, the number one thing I'm on the hunt for is curtain ties for the bedroom because at the moment I'm using my own hair clips and I feel like that's a bit ratchet. And I'll see you when we get to home sense. Oh, so excited. <laughs> I didn't know would tell me how good this shop is. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start at the very beginning and we're gonna work our whole way around this entire shop. Let's do this. rug section as soon as I come over here I've spotted this runner which is absolutely beautiful it's like Persian style would this look nice in our bedroom I mean it's got the right kind of tones to it I think it actually might be a bit big though it's really long it's really lovely it's got like warm like rusty tones little bits of blue and it feels gorgeous or there's this really big version of it which could then go like under the bed um, I really like that too how much is the full the full size 
a hundred pounds. I mean, it's still not bad for a big rug. I don't know if I want to spend that much today though. There's literally every shade of like faux fur you can possibly imagine. We've got a big sheepskin in the living room, but it's looking very sorry for itself. I never know what to do with them. Can you like brush them? It used to look like this. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like that anymore. I quite like this white one with like the brown running through it. They feel beautiful. 30 pounds, wow, how big is that? Oh, these are quite nice. They've got more of like a rustic look to them. I think the black would look a bit harsh, but um, let me see how big this is. I just realized actually, that Persian one that I liked <laughs> is Ralph Lauren. I don't really know what the deal is with the brands in here. That's only like a little size, but that could go in front of the bed. Would that be too much beige though, next to a, a wooden bed? I don't love it. There's all these amazing like poofs and footstools as well. I love this like blush pink color. That's cute. Oh, I like this teal one as well. That's a really lovely color. Oh, and that's discounted 32 pounds. Wow, that is good. This one's nice for a bit more of a neutral. A little geometric design on it. That's lovely. It feels lovely too. So many rugs. I think that's a bit bright, but I do like it. I think it's that kind of vibe I want to go for, for the bedroom rug. I really like that. But I do think these are maybe a bit colourful. How much are they? Again, these ones are 100. That one's cool. It doesn't feel very nice though. Be quite rough on your feet in the morning. <laughs> Loads of grey ones. I know grey is like the colour for homes at the moment, isn't it? But yeah, I'm definitely really drawn to these like Persian style ones. That's definitely what I want to go for. Just need to find the right one for the right price. This one here is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like that. That's got such an Urban Outfitters kind of look to it. How much is this? 150 for that one, but with all that detail in it and the little tassels, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to commit to these like quite bold colors and patterns because I'm not entirely sure how it would look. I'm gonna have to do my research on Pinterest, aren't I? That's nice. That's got quite like a, almost like a worn look to it. Do you like that one? Where's the price on that? Probably 10 million pounds, know me. Okay, I'm about to start the mammoth task of going through these throws because that is one thing we do need. We need a throw for the bed. But the first one I've just spotted is this one, which is quite unusual. It's just like a light blanket kind of thing, but that's the design on it. Quite like the colors and the like sketchy style of it. And look at that price, 17 pounds. That's such a bargain. It's not like super soft, but I like the sort of canvasy texture of it little bit rustic. I might pick pick that up and keep hold of it. I didn't get a basket, which is probably a rookie error. So I'm gonna look through these now. <laughs> Wish me luck, literally every color of the rainbow. That's quite nice. I like the neutrals with the gray in that and then the little like tufty texture to it. That looks really cozy and it feels so soft. And that one, that's quite similar, similar kind of vibe. These are really nice, aren't they? These like Hessian blankets. They look really nice, just kind of draped over the end of the bed. Okay, this is right up my street, but would this actually go with our bedding? I'm not sure, look at these big chunky tassels. I love them, how much is this one? Still only 25 pounds. I really like that, love these little like pom-pom details and all the different textures all over it. I might come back for that one. If I'm still thinking about it when I get to the other end of the shop, it means I'm into it. I thought this kind of color was what I wanted to go for, but I haven't spotted one that I like enough just yet. I cannot believe how much choice there is, this is crazy. Really cool as well because above all the blankets they've got like the coordinated colour cushions too, it's really handy. Hmm, I do quite like that. Looks a bit like a Muppet and I'm kind of into that. This might be the one. I feel like I've fallen in love with a blanket. Balancing you on rugs right now. So I've found two blankets that I absolutely love. Either this one with like the textured design on it or this one in like the yellow tones. I think I might go for the yellow one. I really love it, it's 10 pounds more, obviously. Little wooden tables, pop them next to your sofa. The detail in these is lovely actually. I like the embroidery in that one. The blue really pops, doesn't it? It's pretty. Okay, these are wild and amazing. <laughs> they are a little bit crazy. I do kind of like them though. The pink, not so much, but then I do really like the gold against this blue. I am a little bit in love with these bright orange chairs. How cool are they? I'm trying to think where we could even put one of these. Probably in the little alcove in the living room. 180 pounds. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to buy one now while we haven't got anything else, but for future reference. They've got nice sofas too, they've got brown leather. This lovely grey velvet one over here. 
I feel like a lot of people that I'd be right up their street. And this amazing blue color again, seems to be quite a lot of that. Okay, if you're on the hunt for cocktail chairs, this is the place to come. They've got literally every color you can possibly imagine. This pale pink is so pretty. If I had a nice filming background, I'd be tempted. And can we just talk about this couch for a second? Um, how amazing, 500 pounds. That is so cool. I think this is pretty much the color of our sofa that's come in, just to give you a little idea of what we're going for. If we hadn't already bought a green sofa, I would be going home with a green sofa. That is beautiful. I quite like it against the blue too. So that's interesting. I hadn't really thought about putting it with blue, but I do quite like that. What have we got around here? Ooh, loads of chartreuse. Is that chartreuse? I feel like I'm making that colour up on the spot. I'm pretty sure it's chartreuse. How nice is that as a little bedside table? That's so pretty. I love all the different woods. £100, that's pretty much what we paid for ours. And it's a lot fancier than ours. I like the way they paired this orange with the brown. That looks really nice. Mixture of like warm tones. And then next to the yellow too. That looks lovely. Hmm, remember this for future reference, Lucy. Okay, this is something that we do need. We need a big, nice laundry basket. I mean, there's enough choice here, bloody hell. We've still got like literally the world's worst laundry basket. I'll show you it when I get home, it is bloody awful. But something like this might look quite nice in the bedroom. I mean, that's probably not big enough. But 20 pounds, that's loads cheaper than I've seen them online. Need like a long, tall one probably. You know, Ooh, how about that one? Sunnies, right? That's nice. How know? much is that? £25. I do like that. Oh, how nice would those be in the kitchen? I mean, we have not got room for them, but putting like your fruit and veg in those, that would look so cute. Hmm, I really like them. They are £60. They could be such a cute little statement you could literally turn your kitchen into a greengrocer's they have even got fancy pet bowls i mean have you ever seen anything like it that's the most hilarious thing i've ever seen i had literally no idea they did all like pet stuff they've literally got everything i'm feeling very overwhelmed right now i'm probably not doing a very good job at filming this the world's most boring thing to show you but we could do with something like this to go under our dish rack because we've got wooden worktops i'm really worried that we're going to ruin the wood by just putting like wet dishes on there eight quid do I want to spend eight English pounds on a dish mat? That is so boring. I actually might do though, because that's what my life has come to. We've reached that point. I'm gonna to have to find a trolley. Where are they? Turns out carrying two king size blankets around is basically arm day. Here we go, lads. About to get serious, we're in business. A bit random, but I actually really love this little stool. With a little storage compartment inside. That color is beautiful as well. It's like a really pale mint. Little brass legs. I don't know what the hell I would do with that or where it would go but it's nice, 49 pounds. Well, this is my favorite aisle so far, which just appears to be a random crap aisle. My favorite kind of aisle. What is this weird mystical box? Oh my God, it's so heavy. Looks like it's made of tortoises. I'm kind of intrigued by that, it looks magical. Unfortunately, that is so heavy. I literally don't think I could even lift it. Ooh, a bell. Giant dice or a skull, take your pick. That's quite cute with the little stars on, although I think we're more of a gold house than a silver house. This aisle is like the cave of wonders. Like I've got no idea what any of it is, but I wanna buy all of it because it all looks mad and weird. Although this, I do quite like this. How much is this? 10 pounds. I really like that with some like plants coming out the top. I think that would look really pretty with some pampas grass or something. I might get that. It's really heavy. Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> I feel like maybe every house needs a globe. Is that a thing? £20. I mean, I'm not going to buy a globe. I think Adam would probably leave me, but I like it. <laughs> I found myself wedged in the plant pot aisle and my backpack's so big that I keep hitting stuff and I'm terrified I'm going to smash them. <laughs> Help. Really like some of these big planters that they've got. That's a shame that that's got a chip, chip in. I really like that pale pink colour. Um, but I don't really know how I'm going to get them home. They're so heavy. I do really like that though. I wonder if they've got another one of those somewhere. I'm literally terrified I'm going to smash them. <laughs> oh, there's another one. 9.99. Oh, I really want that. How heavy is that? Oh my God, I'm literally so scared. Okay, I think I'm actually done here. I'm gonna head home, mainly because I've suddenly got the vlogging fear and I feel a bit like a lunatic wandering around filming myself. It's quite a busy store. So I'll see you when I get home. Hair literally flatter than a pancake today. I'm like the opposite of Gretchen Wieners. There is absolutely no room for secrets 
in this hair of mine. So I'm home. The uh, the observant amongst you will notice that I'm wearing a different t-shirt and it's actually the day after. I don't really know why I didn't film the rest of this yesterday actually, but instead I decided to have a pad thai for dinner and do some cross stitch in front of Love Island, so... <laughs> Anyway, it is now the day after my first ever home sense experience and there was a few bumps along the road but I would in general consider it a roaring success actually. I had a really nice time. I'm really sorry I didn't film as much of the actual kind of shopping stuff as I wanted to. I really got the... like I don't know, if, if you ever do vlogging you'll know what I mean by like the vlogging ick. Like you'll be doing okay vlogging in public and then all of a sudden you'll be like this is too weird, I can't do this. <laughs> and it suddenly feels like the eyes of every single person in the shop are staring down at you. That's what I like to call the vlogging ick. I'm gonna show you what I got. So in the cab on the way home, <laughs> I was going through it in my head and I was like, um, well, I didn't get the curtain tie backs that I wanted, but that's okay, because I got other things I wanted. And then actually realized that I hadn't bought anything that was on my list. On my list, I had curtain tie backs, a lampshade and a rug. Did I buy any of those? No, I couldn't find any curtain tie backs, which was a bit of a shame because they had loads of knobs and loads of hooks, um, but not a single curtain tie back to be found. So that was a bit of a shame. I didn't like any of the lampshades that they had in that home sense. And I didn't want to commit to a rug without having a second opinion. Cause it's quite a big deal, isn't it? Buying a massive rug for like a hundred quid. I didn't feel confident enough in my own judgment. So in the end, I just bought loads of things that I didn't know I needed until I saw them. And here we are. Some real highs, some real boring things that I can't believe this is my life now that I get excited about. And then there is one absolute disaster, which I don't think I'll ever get over. So that'll keep you watching. <laughs> okay, first thing that I'm absolutely buzzing about, I'm totally head over heels in love with this. I bought, quite frankly, an enormous plant pot for one of our plants in the living room, but it's a lovely chunky blue pot. It's got some lovely raised geometric pattern to it. Um, it's a really gorgeous shade of like turquoisey blue. And then it also came with this nice wooden frame, which you then stand it on. And it just looks so lovely with that parlor palm that we've got. I absolutely love this. And I walked away from it to start with because I didn't think I was gonna be able to carry it to the till literally the struggle was real but it was worthwhile because i'm absolutely in love with this and it's actually made me even love the plant more as well because i think that plant lends itself really well to a lot of height um, and it's really elevated that parlor palm up that was an absolute banger of a find and i think that was 16.99 i think it was including the stand so there was two blankets that i fell in love with i couldn't decide which one i liked the most so i bought both bad person. The first one I got was that yellow one with the lovely kind of mustardy yellow tufty detail all over it. If I do a little close-up I'm hoping you'll be able to see the lovely detail. Um, it's a really lovely combo between that mustard yellow and the cream. And then these are just cute aren't they? Like little half pom-poms. Um, I just love the colour. I thought it would look really nice against the peach. And this is also going to be a colour that features in our living room as well. So I thought we can swap and change. It can be anywhere. And then, so I paid, how much did I pay for this? This was the more expensive one. So it's £24.99. But actually, for a blanket I mean that's not too bad and then I got it home there was absolutely no mention of this on the label whatsoever the label's literally just plain white um, but then I unraveled it to show Adam and lo and bloody behold it's only DKMY your girl's designer <laughs> makes me feel bougie as hell to have a DKMY blanket so that can now go on the bed and it'll be lovely look at that look at that layering Ooh. <laughs> and then I showed you this one too, I think. The other blanket I picked up was the slightly more unusual one. Um, it's going to be really difficult to show you this, but I'll show you the picture again. This one was $16.99, which I thought was a really good price. And it's this black geometric face design. A little bit creepy on reflection, but I do think it's really cool. Here you go, you can kind of see the effect of it here. Like, I love this little pop of blue and then a little pop of pink with it as well. I just thought that was really pretty and I thought it would look very cool on our sofa if it ever arrives in this lifetime. Now we're onto the boring stuff. Anyone who's into their kitchen gadgets, saddle up. The true pièce de résistance of my home sense experience, a sponge holder. Didn't know I needed it until I saw it. Here we are, I now own a sponge holder. I just thought it was great because our sponges sit so soggy in the bottom of the sink because there's nowhere to put them. So it's just a little white metal frame and then it's got two suckers on the back. So that kind of sticks to the back of your sink. And you pop your sponge in there and it can drain properly and it'll stay fresh. And then you can put your little surface sponge in there too. 
that's it. I've uh, I've peaked. That one was three ninety nine. Then I very excitedly messaged Adam to be like, "This shop is amazing. Tell me anything we need, and I will find it in this shop." And his personal request was a garlic press. Ooh and ah. Uh. So this one is RRP 9.99, and it was 4.99 from HomeSense. Maybe the most boring of all the things that I picked up. Um, I bought a silicone dish mat to go underneath our dish drainer because <laughs> I'm boring myself hearing myself say these words out loud. Uh, because we have wooden worktops in the kitchen and then we just have like a metal dish drainer. I paid 7.99 for this. Wow, I need to calm down. My dishes have never been so dry thanks to this. The last kitchen bit I bought was a bit of a present for Adam and if this doesn't make me the world's best girlfriend, hey what can I say? You might know Adam is a really keen cook and a bloody good cook and that means that he has a lot of knives. We literally just had a drawer full of knives and I was scared every time I opened it that I was gonna slice my hand off. Um, so I bought him this which I'm gonna show you in working action. Um, the knives don't come with it and I'm very scared they're gonna slip out and stab me but it's by that brand Joseph Joseph I think they're called who do really cool like kitchen gadgets and basically this is like knife storage a two level knife storage which you keep in the drawer and then you just slot your knives in there good that in it so now I'm less terrified that I'm gonna come away with a grievous bodily injury every time I go looking for a wooden spoon so Got to count your blessings, haven't you? Can't remember how much this was. I think it was maybe 9 99 which I thought wasn't too shabby, really, for a cool kitchen gadget like that. Obviously, I feel like it's a fact of life and just, like, a rule of life that you can't go to HomeSense, as I understand, and now I do understand, without buying a candle. Um, so this one was 6 99 I was mostly just drawn to the jar, to be honest, by a brand called Sensational. This is really uncomfortable leaning against the bed. Remind me not to do this again. Um, and the scent is tobacco and vanilla natural soy candle hand poured in the usa this does smell really delicious and i thought i'll definitely reuse that jar because it looks really cool this one was 6.99 but i could have bought approximately probably 25 candles because the range they had in there was unbelievable um literally every candle you can think of and they all smelt delicious but um this was the lucky one that came out with me and last but not least it's with a heavy heart that I share this news. I think I did actually film this. In the clearance aisle, I spotted this gorgeous, this gorgeous brown jug, which I thought would be the most amazing vase. Then I got a cab home because of that giant pot that I bought. Look what happened to the handle. Oh no! <laughs> I'm actually gutted. How annoying is that? Because it is the most beautiful vase. I thought our oh, kind of like beige pampas grass would look amazing in there and it was only £10. And then stupidly I put it in the boot of the car next to that plant pot and at one point the driver drove and I just heard it bash into the plant pot. Now look at it, how will I ever carry my water now? Thankfully, I do think I'll be able to fix it because I found all the bits of the handle <laughs> in the car before I got out. So you can see that that actually is a very clean break and it will glue, I think. So one of my jobs for today <laughs> is to get, go into town and pick up some super glue so that I can fix that. Um, because I just think it's beautiful, the tone of that brown, just typical. Like I heard it in the back of the car and I was like, why so that's my home sense loot i hope you enjoyed this one i actually really enjoyed filming this even though the vlogging ick really took over halfway through i learned that i'm a huge fan of home sense i really want to go back already someone in the comments of the last video said it's addictive and i can fully i can fully get that i could have spent so much more money there was so much stuff there that i loved especially the big furniture um obviously it's a little bit trickier to buy that if you don't have a car i really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did then please do give it a little thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this too if there's any shops in particular that you think i would love and that i need to check out so i'm gonna go and find homes for my new wares now and um fix me pot sad times <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you very soon with another video bye Mwah!